What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. And today we're going to speak about the powerful secret about ads that you don't know. Because there's something that will fix 99% of your problems. And I'm not joking. Please bear with me because I'm going to tell you what you need to do to fix your problems right now. And I know everybody has different problems. But this thing is something that I've seen on many students. And over the years, this problem has been fairly consistent. And if you, if you don't fix that, then forget about all the other problems. This thing needs to be fixed now and it will solve 90%, well, at least 90 to 99% of your problems. So let's dive into it. So the powerful secret about ads. Okay, so before diving into it, just please take five seconds to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you know, we have been doing three videos every single day for a few months now, and we want to do it basically forever, and we just want a little bit of support for from you guys. So please, before we discuss this, just take three seconds of your time to, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to dive in right now. So what is the powerful secret about ads that people don't know? Okay, let me take this right here. What you don't know about ads is that 90% of your problems could be fixed in one second. How? And I'm not even kidding, guys. This is the biggest problem that I'm seeing on every single dropshipper that comes inside of our mentoring. Like, it's not something that, hey, we teach dropshipping. We don't teach, like, how to cook eggs. We teach dropshipping. I've had so many clients uh, with my brother over the years, and we've seen this literally destroy lives because they don't know how to handle that problem. And what is that problem? So is by controlling your emotions, you read it right. Yes, you read it right. Emotions are what can sabotage your success. Guys, please, please let me explain you. I'm going to tell you right now in a few seconds, I'm going to tell you a few points. And if you recognize yourself, it basically means that you have that problem. And I'm not joking. I'm not, you know, trying to invent some things. I'm not saying something like out of the blue, like random. It is what we have noticed. Like everybody has the same teaching. Everybody is giving similar formulas. Obviously, you know, some people are better with creative. Some people are better, you know, with websites. Some people are better with, you know, they have different, uh, let's say, strong points and different weaknesses. So we work on their weaknesses and we work less on their strong point because we already know they're strong and that. So we want to work on what they lack, not on what, on what they're already strong. But that's not the point. The point is what everybody has in common when they start is this. They don't control their emotion. And even though they have a similar training, a lot of them fail. And because of that, and it's crazy. And if you ask me or you ask my brother, what is the difference between someone that succeed inside of your mentorship program or someone that doesn't, guys, this is it. This is it. So we don't give them like any secret voodoo formula strategy. We basically let them know what they need to do to analyze their ads, make a good website to, you know, make good creative, uh, find a good product. But after that, we basically tell them, how to control their emotions and how the business works and flows. And based on that, if they understand it and they practice, you know, the control of themselves and they understand well the business and they put everything, you know, like a puzzle, everything together, they will have success. But if they are lacking on this or maybe they're too stressed or too worried and even though we have calls to speak about the mindset, to speak about what you need to do and how you need to view things, if they don't work on that, even though you give them the plan with the perfect strategy, they're not going to finish it or they're not going to complete it successfully because of emotions. So keep in mind, I'm going to tell you right now a few points. And if you have that, if you have those points, then it means that you have those problems. And it doesn't mean that you can that you have emotions problems, but it doesn't mean that it cannot be fixed. At least I'm making you aware of what is your problem. And if I'm making you aware, then you can find a solution. And if you cannot find a solution, then we can help you find a solution for it. Okay, so let's look, you know, 
on here. Let me explain and let you know uh, if this happens to you. Like I said, I'm going, I want to know if this is you. If this is you, that means you have that problem. Okay. So when you launch your ads, do you feel super excited? But after a few hours, you feel like stressed out about the outcome. Like you're like, okay, let's go and launch my ads. But after a few hours, you're like, I don't have sales. What is going on? You know, what's what's happening? Are you having that issue? If that is you right now, you have that problem. But it can be fixed. Don't worry. But you have that problem. At least you know it. Okay. Now. Or do you check your ads every three seconds and it seems like they aren't spending, but it's just because you're too focused on them? Are you like looking at your phone and like like refreshing the page like 3,000 times and like, okay, but why is it not spending? You know, it's been like $2 and it's been a few hours. Like, are you having that problem? Are you having that mind problem? If you have that problem, then it means, guys, that you have an emotion. Like... Uh, problem that you're not controlling your emotion and this is what is basically harming you and I'm not saying that to scare you guys there's an easy fix for this and you know uh, but it, it needs to come from you there's an easy fix but it comes from you you know it's like if you go if you drink a lot of alcohol and and basically you, you go in rab rehabilitation but you don't do it yourself then you know the, the, the teacher or the person that gives you the information can't like can do so much about it. Like I'm going to give you the tools. I'm going to give you everything that you need to solve that problem. But if you don't solve it, then I can't do more than that. I mean, I will give you the tools to solve it, but that's just what I can do. Okay. So, or maybe you stop the product quickly because you don't want, want it to overspend. You're like, okay, it's been like $10. Like I haven't got any single sale, like or maybe $3. Like what's going on? Like I don't even have a to cart and you close it. And you close it. So you don't let the time to the algorithm to, you know, find your clients, to find someone that will buy your product. You don't let the time to run. You don't let it run. And if you have that problem, again, you could have emotional problem. Let's look at another one. And, you know, guys, you want to know something before I continue. And I reveal this one that I'm, that I'm going to tell you. Guys, you need to understand that. Like I had those problems and not one of them. I had them all. I had them all. I overspend. I kill, was killing too quickly. I was looking at my ads every three seconds, but I was able to fix it. I was able to fix it. And now literally me and my brother, we're successful dropshippers. We've been doing this full time for years and we're, you know, we're able to control uh, what's what's been thrown at us. And it hasn't been easy but we were able to do it. Or uh, you tell yourself, let me run it one more day and end up spending a few hundred dollars on a single day. Maybe you're doing that. I was doing those things. That's why I'm able to, you know, keep track of all of those problems because either one of my students, you know, were having those problems uh, when they started the mentor, uh, the mentorship, or it's because, you know, I had those issues myself. So I was able to see that in myself uh, while I was, you know, um, growing inside of my dropshipping journey. So are you having that problem that you see a product and you're like, I see one add to cart one more day, one more day, and you end up spending like $500 on a single product. And now you're like three products in and you're basically spend like over $2,000 inside of those three products. Are you having that issue? If you're having that issue, then it doesn't mean that you're not good with your ads. It doesn't mean that you're not, you don't know how to run ads. It just means that you don't know how to control your emotions. So on here, if you have this behavior, let me tell you, let me tell you that this is normal. This is normal and can easily be fixed. And that's what we're going to discuss now. Well, guys, you need to understand that those behaviors are completely normal. And what you need to do is understand the business, how the business works, how dropshipping works. You need to understand how your client, you know, how your client behave, how you see people online, how, you know, if you see someone in the ad, like 
on add to cart, like every time you add something to cart, let's say on Amazon, do you buy it right away? No, you will know that most people, they will add to cart, but they will not purchase. You will know that people have a very short attention spam when you see ads on your social media. Do you scroll very fast or you look at it three seconds and you go away or eat? Or if it's interesting, then maybe you stay a little bit longer. So how to control your emotion is by controlling, not by controlling, by understanding how people behave, how the algorithm behave, how advertising works. And when you know your business, when you know how does it work, then you understand why you had a few add to carts and no sales. You understand why no people, you know, purchased and no people were interested. You understand what you had a low CPC. It's basically knowing your business. You have a lack of knowledge inside of your business somewhere and not in like theoretical, you know how to duplicate your campaign. You know how to increase a budget. You know how to select maybe interest or how to scale a campaign. You know those things on paper, but you don't know the behind the scene. And that's what you need to learn inside of your business. And if you learn that, then you will be able to be a successful dropshipper that will control their emotions because you know what is happening inside of those campaigns. And when you know, then you're not stressed about it. The only moment that you stress is because you don't know the outcome. But when you know the outcome and you can predict based on you know what is going on, then you will be able to be uh, successful and control the emotion. So yeah, guys, this is the video of today. Wish you all an amazing rest of your day. Take care, guys. Love you all. And peace out. See you on the next video.